Hey, good evening, fellow astronomers. The hype train is an integral part of astronomy, uh, especially amateur astronomy and even some less than amateur astronomy. There are always stories, you know, in the news, like this super blue moon's going to be the only time this happens this year. It's going to be big and, you know, this... This comet's going to be amazing, and this meteor shower is going to be 50 meteors per minute. <laughs> you know, there's, there's just there's always stories like that. And, uh, you know, you go outside and the moon looks exactly the same. The comet disintegrates before your eyes, and the uh, you don't see any meteors. There's a, lot, there's a lot of heartbreak on the astronomy hype train. Uh, but one event is coming that is going to live up to the hype. For me, anyways, I th I think this is cool, a very big deal. Um, coming up in December is going to be an incredibly close conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. They are going to be right on top of each other. I I don't know what the exact measurement's going to be, but it's going to be like five arc minutes or something. They're going to be. It's going to look like a single point of light, and that is going to present some wonderful opportunities for a photograph now we're not going to have a lot of time it's going to be they're, they're going to be close to the sun at that point december is not an ideal time for imaging jupiter and saturn we're looking at at 6 20 it's going to be it's going to start getting pretty dark and they're only going to be about 13 degrees off the horizon. So we dial it back to like 6 o'clock and you, the sky glow is starting to get pretty significant. Now they're going to be really bright. Um, this is only on the, the 11th. So on the 20th is when they're really going to hook up here. And they're just going to be right on top of each other. So like you could frame them up like that on a, on a camera sensor and you could get... A potentially incredible picture um, that's the 20th on the 21st they'll be right there so they'll be passing e each other between the 20th and the 21st and you know we're gonna have a problem with the Sun of course at this point because they're gonna be low on the horizon but so the imaging conditions will not will be less than ideal but still potentially very promising um, to at least get what would be a once in a lifetime picture. You will never get Jupiter and Saturn in the same little box like this again. So I am excited about trying. I am tempering my excitement because I'm sure it will be cloudy. But just in case, I, I might travel. Like I might fly into the Middle East or something to get this picture. But I really want to try and I'm really excited about what will be an incredible conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. You will not be able to discern their difference with the naked eye. It's going to look like a single point of light. So uh, let's work on our imaging equipment, our planetary chops. I, I've never done any planetary work. I'm excited. I, I, I just ordered a, an ASI camera that's supposed to be better for planetary. I've got a two and a half times power mate I've got the edge 925 those should be that combination of equipment should enable me to get a, a decent image like this and I'm gonna try anyways I hope you try and I hope you share your results with us and uh, let's look forward to December